Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. New Mexico and New Mexico State just finishing up warm-ups as we take a peek inside the stadium just moments prior to kickoff of the Rio Grande rivalry. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA Comic Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Moore is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Takes a handoff. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 41's coming. 41's a mic. Go, And down he goes at the 49. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Stop your whining. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He steps out at the 49-yard line. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From their own 14-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. tackled at about the 27 yard line so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game from their own 27 yard line first down got an opening 
He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Brought down with only one man to beat. That's a team that you can play. First down. So it's first and ten after the big run. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Throws it in a hurry. And he hits him hard to 39-yard line. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Bird is the putter. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. Decent gain there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. the 46-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's a deal of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Trying to change the field position with his kick. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 34, Mike 34. 
We played one quarter. Still no score. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. Pitches back. He has some room. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. Third down. The Lobos defensive back sidelined with an injury, and that's really a big blow to that secondary. They need him out there, and it doesn't look like he'll be back. Makes it out to about the 19. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. From the 19 yard line, first down. He's got an opening. The 10, the 5, touchdown Lobos. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 77-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line, he makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Brought down at the 28-yard line. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Has all day to throw. Throws out to the running back, no good. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Ryan is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 44. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. New Mexico is up a score. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes his way to about the 22. That makes it first and 10. first and goal this guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible you don't see it from every receiver but this guy's got it run right side he makes it to the nine the Lobos are going to call their second timeout. that brings up a second and goal nine yards to the goal line Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Touchdown, New Mexico! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He hits the PAT. So that's a five-play, 43-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 14-0 from the seven. And he's taken down at the 28. So we're just about ready to return to action. Under pressure. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. He zips it out to the right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Short over the middle. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Room around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. New Mexico's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Ah! 
This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Spikes the ball. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the seven yard line. He's taken down at about the seven yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. He makes the PAT. So that's a six-play, 50-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So our score, 21-0. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 26. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Here's a handoff, left side. And he's tackled at the 35. So the Aggies taking their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Five wide. Here we go, here we go. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's tackled at the 44 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 44 yard line. First down. He's going to air it long. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Lobos with a three touchdown advantage. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellas who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sims from the nine. And they push him out at about the 37-yard line. New Mexico's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. We're about set to start things up again. Back 
tackle made right around the 40. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here we go! He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 45. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Little screen pass. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. It's a ball, left side. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 26. Here we go. Green 95. Green 95. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a game of 12 yards. yards. First down. Oh, you got deep? 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Run! Run, run! Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. get him in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 13. And that one's incomplete. So that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. And he adds the extra point. New Mexico, the kick. Webb fields it at the two. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The Lobos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football. Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Here we go! Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Quick strike and he drops it. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Mike 55, Mike 55. 
There's a strike complete. And they make the stop right around the 34. Makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. Here's an opening inside the 10. Brought down at the 2. line a yard maybe two on the carry that brings him second and goal The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Three down, three down. Mike, 55, Mike, 55. Check, check, check. Check, check motion, 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 motion. And he's tackled right away. That'll be a pickup of a yard. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, let's take a look at scores around the country. The Owls unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Owls are out front, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. New Mexico State is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. New Mexico comes to the line in complete control in this game. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it second and six. So with one quarter remaining, the Lobos in front, 28-3. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's pushed out of bounds around the 47 yard line. First down. it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. New Mexico comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. 
receiver's got it on the screen. And down he goes at the 39. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 39. He makes it to the 38-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He fights forward to about the 36. That's a gain of two on the That makes it 37. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. complete over the middle. He's taken down right around the 30. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. his way to about the 22. That makes it first and 10. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Under a minute left. Brady takes the give. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Ready, right. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of six yards. That brings him second and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. So that's going to do it. The Lobos get the victory, 28-3. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.